Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having a fantastic day. Leaving a like or a comment or subscribing or doing all of them, the, you know, I mean, they're all there. All these things do help out the channel immensely. Welcome back to another news that I missed where I talk about the news that was in the news, but I missed it. And yeah, let's jump right into it. It says Ripple continues to expand its operations across Europe. Ripple Labs, an American-based blockchain company, has partnered with French and Swedish companies to bring on-demand liquidity to Europe. On-demand liquidity is code word for using XRP. According to the press release shared on the 11th of October, Ripple signed two deals with Paris-based online marketplace provider Lemonway and Swedish money transfer provider XBOT. That is the letter X and B A H. T, there's something right there, a little, little tweet right there, pretty. In the press release, Ripple's managing director in Europe, Cindy Young, emphasized that these partnerships are an integral part of the company's goals to expand within Europe. She said, we are delighted to be working with Lemonway and Xbot, our first on-demand customers, on-demand liquidity customers in France and Sweden, respectively. We have become the partner of choice for enterprises such as Lemonway and Xbot looking to tap into global crypto liquidity to eliminate the traditional problems associated with cross-border payments such as lack of speed, unreliability, and excessive cost. I'm... How do I say this? I'm very happy that because of the constant backhandedness from American regulators and the SEC regarding Ripple that they have simply uh, spread their wings and have decided to move to other places uh, around the world. Uh, this is not the first time and will not be the last time that we've had news like this. Ripple continues, luckily, uh, to continue expanding around the world. One of the really funny things years ago was that there were a number of, um, th this was also in the news as well, just to, as another uh, tidbit. So they have France, they have Sweden, and now they also have the Netherlands as well for another company using XRP. A number of years ago, one of the main uh, things that people kept on saying was that like no one's using XRP. There are about 100 companies now around the world who are actively using it. Like if you've seen the other videos, you definitely know about them. There are tons of on-ramps and off-ramps as well within the UAE, the United Arab Emirates. Uh, they're quite big, they're quite huge, they have a lot of money, and a lot of people are using them. Yeah, that's the XRP is being used in the Netherlands, in France, and in Sweden. News keeps happening more and more every single week, so no one can complain or say anymore that XRP is not being used, because it definitely is. Yeah, that's the XRP news. Let's move on. Also in the news, Luna Classic. Here's a weird one. It says, has secured a major use case. Okay. As it is now among the crypto payment methods on Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Samsung Pay, following its integration on the OKSE wallet and card. Therefore, the Terra Classic community and other cryptocurrency users can now pay for goods and services using Luna Classic in over 170 countries, thanks to OKSE. According to a Wednesday statement, OKSE Spend to Earn prepaid and debit card has extended its support to include the Terra Classic native token LUNC, or L-U-N-C. Community asks, and we listen, congratulations, Luna community. OKSE wrote in response to an update shared by Travlad. A Binance and Bybit affiliate is Trav. I have no idea. I'm whatever. Anyway, the point is, yeah. So this happens a lot to many really popular altcoins. We've had news similar to this before just a couple of months ago when it came to Shiba Inu. Uh, the rate at which people can use these coins as a payment option now is quite fantastic compared to a couple of years ago where you had to be lucky if your coin got even accepted anywhere to be used as a payment method for anything. Remember years ago, there was a website that um, only, like they were only accepting Bitcoin, but only if you wanted to buy their socks. And it was like, okay, I guess it's a start. But now we get to the point where like, if you integrate with one company, 
You can now be used across Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Samsung Pay. I do not explicitly know if uh, people are willing to spend a lot of their crypto right now just because of the optimism of prices potentially uh, doing a 10 or 20x in the next year or two, but... I'm sure there's somebody out there who needs a new pair of socks, and they're probably going to be using their Terra Luna Classic for it. That's the Terra Luna Classic uh, being used by OKSE, and therefore can be used on Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Samsung Pay News. Right? Let's move on. Mm, Next up. The Stellar Development Foundation, or the SDF, a registered nonprofit organization in a bid to encourage developers to build on the Soroban smart contract platform, has raised $100 million in funding. According to the platform, the smart contract went live on FutureNet, okay, on the 11th of October. Soroban is a test network designed with a specific purpose, as they all are, and built to perform... Oh, that was the whole sentence. And built to perform a specific purpose. Wow, fantastic. Developers can start experimenting on the network and in return earn rewards. Additionally, the funds will help initiate lots of programs like the First Light, dubbed Sorobanantanan, Sorobananathan, Sorobantan. S-O-R-O-B-A-N-A-T-H-O-N. Sorobanthan. SDF created this program to support the growth and development of the Soroban ecosystem amidst other benefits. Okay, just use real words there. Other adoption programs will be announced by the platform subsequently via the Stellar Dev Discord. So it looks like Stellar Lumens now has, or has for a while, had a smart contract platform It looks like nobody was using it as much as they wanted them to use it. So now they've launched $100 million in funding as an incentive to get people to be able to build on this network. Did anyone know that Stellar had a smart contract platform? I know, I listen, I know there's one person who's like, me, me, I knew, I told you, I told you 19 and a half months ago, and you didn't listen. We usually typically just hear of Ethereum stuff, Cardano stuff. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, polka dot sometimes smart contract stuff. And, uh, what's the broke down, uh, platform? The one that keeps breaking, broke down 95 times this year. Starts with an F. No, no, no. It's Solana. Solana's that one. Solana's the, the, the one that keeps breaking. Uh, so I know they also have a smart contract platform, but we never usually hear, I mean, to also be fair, we never hear about XRP's, uh, smart contract platform. And that's also a thing. So, you know, anyway, cool. They've raised a hundred list. If I mean, I hope it works out. A hundred million is a lot to raise. If you if if no one's still building on there, just kind of give it up at that point. Um, that's the Stellar Development Foundation has raised a hundred million dollars in an effort to try and get people to use their platform. I'm sure nobody else knew it was there either, but. Stellar isn't like a platform that you want to or is known for like building on like you would you would build on the largest ecosystem. So you have like tons more liquidity and more people to use your. That's the Stellar Foundation news. Yeah. Let's move on. Also in what news using Shiba Inu as a payment option has now been made simple. By cryptocurrency payment provider BitPay, the K9-themed cryptocurrency can be used to purchase handmade or vintage items and craft supplies on Etsy. Although Etsy does not directly accept Shiba Inu, people who would like to shop with the cryptocurrency can use a BitPay instead. According to a BitPay announcement, shoppers can now purchase items from Etsy using two options, making a direct wallet-to-wallet payment which sounds like cryptocurrencies, or paying for goods using a BitPay debit card. And there's a tweet for it right there. They have like an arrow going from Bitcoin to Etsy and from Etsy to Bitcoin. Fantastic. Through this method, 
Shiba Inu holders can pay for goods by sending the SHIB equivalent of the item they want to purchase to the seller's crypto account, so paying for a good. To do this, after locating the item of interest and adding it to your Etsy cart, select other as your payment method. Click the note to seller and indicate you will be paying with Shiba Inu. This is a lot. If the seller accepts SHIBs, he or she will send an invoice containing a wallet address to which you can send the SHIB into the wallet address. This is a lot. Into the wallet address and amount in your BitPay wallet and send the funds. Oh gosh, I'm out of breath. Once the seller receives the funds, he or she will ship the item to you. I don't want it anymore. You can, you, you can keep the item. That was way too much just to buy one item. So yeah, the news is I assume that BitPay, as it's called Bit pay has had the bitcoin option uh for a while now and i guess shiba inu has recently been added to the bit pay team ecosystem something along those lines cool wonderful here i was thinking we weren't going to have any shiba inu news but it it rears its head right back into the market because terra luna classic has kind of been the uh the the usurper for a while now but alas, here we are. Yeah, Shiba Inu's back in the news. I mean, ra rather, Shiba Inu's in the news every single day. It just a lot of times it is news I missed because I don't know how often you want to hear that like 12 billion Shiba Inu were burned or another company's like, yeah, we like the shibs. And it's just a lot going on. That's the, if you use Etsy and you feel like going through all those loopholes and, and loops and jupes and anyway, that's the uh, Shiba Inu using Etsy or Etsy using, I'm going to shut up now. All right, let's move on. Yeah, I do hope that you've all enjoyed this very weird, weird video. I do hope you all are having a great day. Great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might. Oh, Bitcoin has more than one bus now. Look at that. Bitcoin usually only has one bus here. Oh, they have a lot of transactions. Oh boy. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, commenting, subscribing, liking and or supporting and i will most certainly be talking look at her skipping the line look at this look at this and no one's saying anything look at this wow and she got onto the bus before everybody else thank you all once again for watching and listening and i will most certainly she skipped the whole line be talking to you all soon see you <laughs>